Ron Garcia says, I don't know what I'm going to do to Javier Fortuna. I'm just going to do it. Let's chit chat. Push the weight in your flex. Flex the lavish one in the six. If it's a runner boy, you make no question. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker never learned your lesson. I'm an 88 pack nigga. I'm an 88 pack nigga. I mean, they walk a drink, blood things out. Full moon, motherfucker change like a hoe. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Well, it's fight night. July 16th, 2022. Ryan Garcia versus Javier Fortuna. Um, I guess you can call this my prediction. Uh, whatever, man. Um, no disrespect to Javier. Um, but I wasn't really checking for this. No disrespect to Javier, but I really wasn't checking for Ryan Garcia. I wish he'd go away, to be honest. Ricky Martin looking ass. I really wish he would go away. And the reason why I say that is because I'm sick of him. I'm sick of him. Um, just give you an, uh, 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 an update on who he is, if you don't know. He was supposed to be fighting Manny Pacquiao. He was supposed to be fighting Tank. He was supposed to be fighting Devin. And what he did do was fight reality and um, claim he was depressed and claimed that his wrist was broken and all kinds of ridiculous stuff and uh what he did was cap but somehow he got all these instagram followers and you got guys like bernard hopkins and other fighters who should know better but they don't they act like they didn't uh suffer from the uh, uh, uh business of boxing as far as promoting is concerned you know guys that worked hard didn't get the uh shine that they deserved by way of their work ethic and here you have real people like Devin Haney who are sacrificing literally life and limb, going to different countries and taking short money when they're worth so much more and fighting against the grain and pursuing greatness. And guys like Devin Haney don't get respected. Guys like Bill Haney doesn't get enough respect. But they put guys like Ryan Garcia on this pedestal who hasn't done anything. He hasn't won a belt, nothing. He had nothing but an opportunity where he could have done something. He hasn't done it. But somehow, he's on a pedestal. So I wish Ryan would go away. I wish he'd go away. Because while everybody's been working, what has he done? Comb his hair just like this in this picture and just stand there and stare. And little girls and suspect grown men find him attractive to follow him on the gram. Now, can he fight? Just a little something. But we don't know how good he is, and that's his own doing. And he was fresh off of saying, you know, look, you know, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to stop. He basically said he was going to stop selling himself and talking about what he was going to do unless it's going to get done. But nothing's changed. And I still don't trust you. If you beat Javier Fortuna, you're the favorite in this fight. Whatever. I don't have enough data on you to tell you that you're good enough to beat Javier. You, you're supposed to beat him. I don't know who's going to win. So there's my prediction. I don't know. I know the Javier's uh, team asked for the heavier weight, uh, 139. He waited at 139, you know, 139, 140 or whatever, because he had a short camp. You know, I don't know where Ryan's fighting at, 140, 135. I don't know. He looked big as fuck. I don't know if he's he can make 135. But if he beats Javier Fortuna tonight, does that mean we 100% get tank the next fight? I don't know. Why? Because I don't trust Ryan. This is a guy that told you he was going to have an ex exhibition fight against Manny Pacquiao. And then Manny Pacquiao, when asked a question, they said, not only do we not know what he's talking about, but he needs to stop saying our name before this turns into a legal matter. I don't trust Ryan Garcia to do anything. Let's say he knocks out Javier in the first round. And let's say that a uh, uh, tank is there. They could face off and everything. Two months from now, something else will happen because that's been Ryan Garcia's rhythm. All cap. I don't trust this kid. He's aggravating. In the pedestal that the, the sport of boxing has him on, how and why is he a major player? I don't know. 
And this is the part of boxing that makes me sick. We should be talking about Tank versus Devin. Where Ron Garcia is inserted in that situation, I will never know. I've even had some uh, 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 old school fighters say, yeah, I'd like to see Ryan in the ring. I'm like, hold on. Ryan, why? 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 Because Oscar said he was cute. Because B-Hop said, what, 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 what did B-Hop say? While wearing his, his tap dance shoes. Yeah, I, I think Ryan, Ryan how many how many uh how many followers does Devin has? Who knows more people, Devin or Ryan? Guess what, Bernard? More casuals knew Tito Trinidad than they knew about you. Or did you forget that? You was on that side of the spectrum a long time ago. So for you to be talking like this is upsetting. But my prediction for this fight is I don't know. There. I wouldn't bet no money on it. Javier could go in there and not uh, go with the program and dog Ryan. Or he can go in there and just lose. But nobody can get a gauge on how good Ryan is because he hasn't done anything. So he beats Javier for a tune of the night, right? Where on earth does he deserve, see, listen to the language, does he deserve a tank fight? Because tank has been busy. In fact, didn't you lose $20,000 betting on Roley to beat tank, Ryan, to Errol Spence? That's what you did. I want to speak to somebody at Gatorade. Did y'all get a return on your investment by hiring Ryan Garcia? Did y'all sell more Gatorade? By hiring Ryan Garcia? I'm just curious. This kid hasn't done anything. Just because you are celebrated doesn't mean you're great. Every time Arturo Gatti fought in Atlantic City, the Italians came out to support their guy. Nothing wrong with that. But depending on who Arturo fought, he was either going to shine or get his ass whooped. Y'all know what time it is. And salute to uh, the late, great Otoa Gatti. But I use him as an example. That's a perfect example. So I don't know how good Ryan is. But I wish he'd go away. Because he's a distraction. That's what he is at this point. He could get Paviel out there in two rounds tonight. I don't care. Go somewhere. He don't deserve a fight against Devin. He don't deserve a fight against Tank. He should get the award for most annoying fighter in 2022. He hasn't done anything. Anything. Matter of fact, let me say this. I'm rooting for Javier tonight. Let me be very clear on that. So he says he doesn't know what he's going to do. I ain't even going to read the boxing scene uh, uh, article. But go in there and read it if you can find it. It's posted this morning sometime. He says, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. But I'm just going to do it. Fine. If you want to go read it, go ahead and read it. I'll put the link in the description. But I'm rooting for Fortuna because here I go with this phrase, it's for the greater good. It's for the greater good. Garcia is fool's gold. I do not trust him. Get him out of here. Normally I ask y'all to tell me what you think, but if you're a Ryan fan, I really don't care. All right. Get out of here, Ryan. You made me sick. Let's go, Javier and uh, Bronson Beck. Move!